All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Terrell. Listen, right now, we about to hop into that uh, Taylor Swift cardigan. Let's see what she's talking about. That's an old, old piano. Vintage tea, brand new phone. High heels on, cobblestones. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Sequin smile, black lips. Sensual politics When you are young They assume you know nothing But I knew you I feel like when she had When she said uh, When you are young They assume you know, you know nothing I feel like not only Is she referring Is she talking about You know How people look at younger people But I feel like These are people that also Looked at her As You know being young and also doesn't know much you know because that's always been a thing when people just think of someone as being like young and dumb it's like you know you don't you don't know nothing you haven't like really experienced much to know something but that's not the case because you know a lot of people even at an early age they you know they learn fast they learn a lot especially with people that be wanting to know what's going on out here in the world or with whatever it is that they're doing in life or just life period in general you know so I don't really feel like we can say that no no, no more. I, I don't feel like people should assume just because a person is young, they don't know much or they don't know nothing. They probably don't know as much as you do, as you do, but they know enough or at least they know what they want to know. You get what I'm saying? Dancing in your when you are young, they assume you know. I like that because she kind of referred to herself as an old cardigan um, under someone's bed. Now, when, when you think of someone putting something under their bed that's not, you know, a safe with money in it or, you know, anything valuable, you think of like clothes, you know, useless items, you know. So when they put something under their bed, it's kind of like. You know, it's old. It's useless to them. They don't need it no more. So when we were, if we're talking about like clothes, it's kind of like throwing a shirt that you was excited at one time to wear, but now that you got all new shirts, that one just seems to not be useful to you anymore. That's your least favorite one. So you, what you do? You're gonna throw it under the bed. You're probably gonna put it, put it in your drawer, but put it under all your new clothes. So it was like it's old, useless. You're not really interested in wearing it anymore. You know, but she also went on to say, you put me on and said I was your favorite cardigan. So maybe at one time, you know, whoever she's referring to, that was her favorite cardigan. His or her uh, favorite cardigan. Just not anymore. You know. A friend to all is a friend to none. Just two girls lose the one. When you are young, they assume you. like that you drew stars around my scars but now i'm bleeding it's almost like it's almost like you had like a a, a closed wound right a close a healed scar you drew a star around it 
And stars kind of represent like, you know, a shooting star, like a wish, you know, it's hope for something. So I'm guessing maybe it was a hope for her not to, you know, probably probably repeat the same mistakes because she says, now I'm bleeding. So it was like, if she could be referring to it as she's bleeding with a new scar or that same scar has reopened for repeating the same mistakes. You get what I'm saying? Because maybe that star was drew around that specific scar to remind her not to repeat what made her bleed the first time. So now that she's bleeding again, it's kind of like she made the same mistake she did the first time, which caused her to uh, which caused her to bleed the first time. You get what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. Maybe she could be referring to something else around that line, but that's what I'm getting out of it. Maybe. She said, mark me like a blood stain. When something stains, it's permanent. You get a stain on your clothes. I mean, you can remove certain stains off clothes, but not all stains are removable. And she said a blood stain. And I think I think a blood stain is kind of like, it's like you made like, it's, it's a, I don't know. I feel like a blood stain is like, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mark, but you can still see it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't, know how to make, I don't know how to explain it. But obviously a blood stain is like you're bleeding and it's stained. So it's like a permanent Kind of, I'm guessing she's saying it's like a permanent mark for the rest of her life that she's going to have for the rest of the li her life to remind her of what happened to her that made her get that blood stain. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I feel like I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I like what she's saying, like the metaphors she's using and the references and stuff like that. I'm just hoping that I'm, you know, kind of around. Let's just, let's get back into the music video because now we in the water. Cause I knew you Stepping on the last train Marked me like a bloodstain I, I knew you Tried to change the ending Peter losing Wendy I, I knew you Leaving like a father Running like water I, and When you are young They assume you know nothing But I knew you like how we went from like a forest to the water and now maybe a cabin i'm assuming this is maybe you come back to me and you come back to me but i just want to go back to what she has said about the chasing shadows in a grocery line and it's kind of like i guess maybe chasing something that really isn't there because your shadow you know a shadow that's your your shadow is there but it's it's not like it's like something that you can just it's not something that you can touch you can grab it's not like it's it's, it's there and it's not there really you get what I'm saying though but it's like it it's just it doesn't really exist. You come back.
Oh, this was during COVID-19? Oh, wow. I like this. One thing that I really do like, that it's kind of like her playing the piano kind of took us through, like, different places. Like, at first, we ended up in, like, a forest, and she's playing the piano. Then it took her to, like, in the middle of the of the ocean, you know, with, you know, the water kind of just, you know, rushing back and forth. Then it took us to, like, the wooden cabin, you know. And it was, like, a magical piano because you seen, like, every time she opened it, you seen, like, the glowy gold stuff you know, stuff come out of it, you know, just hovering there. So I like that. That's one part that I really, really like the most. But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Like, subscribe, comment, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified every time I drop a video. And until then, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We out. We go.